Origin Chance, welcome to UX and this is America's first F-47 style fighter begins production. That's on sandbox, obviously. So yeah, new generation begins. Yeah, F-47 is probably going to be one of the most insane plane for decades to come. F-22 already is that, but it's, I guess, old now. Apparently, nobody else equivalent plane, but I guess it's old now. So F-47 production is underway. Yeah, product, starting production, this, isn't this a bit faster? Like, F, all the kings, like, they're literally producing it now, okay. According to Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin, Boeing has officially been production of the first new F-47 6th generation air superior plane with plans to have it airborne in 2028. In three years, we're going to have F-47. Yeah, this is insane. Let's watch one. Production is officially underway on America's new F-47. According to Air Force Chief of Staff General David Elvin, Boeing officially began production on the first F-47 6th generation air superiority fighter just recently, with plans to have it in the air in 2028. Now, the Air and Space Forces Association's 2025 Airspace and Cyber Conference is underway this week. And while I couldn't make it in person, I am absolutely there in spirit, just soaking up all the information and announcements to come from it. And formal confirmation that America's next stealth fighter is now actually being pieced together is honestly pretty exciting news. Of course, this first F-47 won't actually be the first aircraft to fly out of this program, known officially as Next Generation Air Dominance. This program saw two still-classified X-planes built to demonstrate the cutting-edge technologies that would come to define this new fighter, and we can assume to compete at least to some extent for the contract that was ultimately awarded to Boeing. Now, the first of these X-planes took flight in 2019, and according to Air Force officials had already set some sort of performance records by the following year. The second of these secret jets made its maiden flight in 2022, but any further details are very tough to come by. Now, the F-47, according to the Air Force, will offer a combat radius of better than 1,000 nautical miles, or roughly 1,150 standard miles for those of us who aren't pirates, all while offering advanced <laughs> new sensors and encrypted communications. And yeah, I like how he acknowledges that, like, okay, why would you nautical miles? I'm supposed to know that. All right, I'm not a pirate. Proved all aspects stealth and a top speed of above Mach 2. Now, based on the role that this aircraft is expected to play in offensive air combat operations, it's pretty likely to me that it'll fly at high altitudes, not unlike the Raptor, to maximize line of sight for its powerful onboard radar and new weapons, like the still in testing AIM-260 beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. Now, the Air Force intends to buy at least 185 F-47s, enough to replace the Raptor fleet on a one-to-one -one basis. But importantly, the F-47 was designed from its onset to operate as a central node in a formation of drone wingmen, known mm. as CCAs, or Collaborative Combat Aircraft. Now, there are currently two air-to-air-focused CCA drones in testing, General Atomic's YFQ-42 and Andrel's YFQ-44, with plans already in place to field more CCA variants in later contract awards, potentially even... Mm. Andrel's making, like... Uh waves in like things like this right so i'm guessing endor one's going to be like some next level shirt with better technology and things i don't know but yeah like there's this the whole it, it's it's happening in segments f-47 is the thing of its own the drones are also being made for it which is like part of it if drones suck there's a good chance it's a it's a hole in your whole thing right hole in your armor type of way so drones have to be awesome too if it's going to fly with f-47 and this is all going to be, I'm guessing, the modular, like, I'm pretty sure they're going to fit it with F-35 as well. Extremely high-end drone wingmen like Lockheed Martin's recently announced Vectis drone. Yeah. Now, in effect, that means the F-47 is meant to operate as an entire fighter formation unto itself, bringing as many as maybe four or more UCAVs into any fight it heads into along with it. Now, these new F-47s and their litany of drone wingmen will then operate alongside at least 
100 new B-21 Raider stealth bombers as an extremely stealthy one-two punch of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations, capable of penetrating the most hotly contested environments on the planet to engage enemy fighters, surface-to-air missile systems, and coastal defenses. Allow you know what? <laughs> we just fucked the right look, man. Okay, China's getting stronger right now, obviously, next generation planes and everything. And everything's happening, like, obviously, there are no conflicts right now. But imagine if America, as soon as they get fleet of F-47 and enough B-21s, they suddenly start to become aggressive, just basically attacks China or China thing, close to, I guess, Pacific, close to, you know, like, uh, Philippines and things, and defend Taiwan point blank and just say, you know, no, screw you, Taiwan is independent, whatever. What you can do about it? What if U.S. is waiting for this superiority element, right? Because U.S. has always been superior. China is kind of getting close. I mean, I wouldn't say like it's equal to USA right now, but this would literally give USA another edge, like another leap, right? Where nobody's close. As soon as you get this, they start to flex like, oh no, you know, screw that. You ain't touching Taiwan. I want to say that to your face. Allowing the rest of America's air and sea-based power projection capabilities to be brought to bear in a safer environment. Uh. But before any of that can happen, the F-47 needs to get flying. So. We'll see if Boeing can keep to their 2028 timetable. Yeah, there you go. Apparently they have a new patch, okay? Is that important? I guess, okay. So Lockheed Martin is Vectis, so like, there are people are like scrambling to make better drones, like Andurail, uh, Lockheed and all that, right? Like B-21 is under production, production, right? It's some, like, something like that. Uh, F-47 is gonna be under much faster than I would've thought. Like, I'm, Trump recently just announced, oh, by the way, F-47 is a thing. It's moving already. By 2028, they're gonna have, like, first plane flying. It's gonna enter service when, like, 2030, 2032 or something. Right, because 2030 is one of the, like, goals that America had, right? Like, 2030, like, we need to, we need to have many things underway by then. So it could be, like, that's pretty fast if that happens, right? Like, it's probably one of the fastest process that is. How fast was F-22? Like, they announced and when would enter, product, you know, like, service. So this is probably going to be one of the faster. But this is going to be like F-22 where it never sees service. Who knows, right? Prevention is, uh, you know, like, better than, yeah, shit like that. So even if it doesn't see service, it's, it's probably going to, like, just having that could be one of the effects where major powers don't do some things, right? Like, China suddenly starts to get idea. I guess Russia starts to get idea. Oh, by the way, America's B-21 F-47. That's air gone. We can't have dominance on air. That could be a problem. Let's not do it. So it could be one of those elements. Like, you never know. You think, like, oh, come on. One plane is not enough to deter someone. Yeah, but the whole air dominance is gone. When a, a country realizes that, and it's a major country, you're probably not going to, you know, get idea after that. Like, let's not risk it. Shit like that. All right, well, if you like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.